Hello everybody, my name is Jeff and we are here with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Review. Today, we're taking a look at the Legendary Doll SMG, the Torrent. This gun was in the pre-sequel, and you may be thinking, why the fuck did they bring a pre-sequel guns back? And I'll demonstrate that. Well, I will. Maybe I, should go shoot something. I don't fucking care. Anyway, let's take a look at the skin. And the skin is pretty, um... Interesting. Also, if we look pretty hard, you can see the camo is moving. Yeah, and the red text reads, Haha, gun go burr. And that's because this gun does indeed go burr. Now, go ahead and um, try and convince me that there is a gun that can achieve just a higher base fire rate. Listen to that. That sounds like the beginning of fucking Battlefield 3. Yeah, so this gun's gimmick is that it's fast. That's the only gimmick. Oh, and every tenth bullet from the magazine is shock for some reason. This gun can also come in all the elements, and I forgot to mention, this gun drops from arms race, unless I already did mention that. So that means you need to get this anywhere. Uh, from heavyweight harker, vending machine, chest, dissecting it out of a skag, wherever it may be. These, this gun, though, has an increased drop chance from the chests in which the hot foot teddy drop. So farm the chest designated for the hot foot teddy, and you'll get your hands on a torrent. Uh, do I recommend farming it? Uh, yeah. But if you don't have a cup purse, or if you're not playing Moe's, then your ass is going to be running back to the ammo vending machine real quick. Just look at that number down there. Now, this gun used to be burst fire, but it's a secondary mode. Also, yes, the recoil is really that bad when trying to aim for the head. Definitely a good gun. Amazing. I don't know why they decided to bring it back, but that's not my decision to judge. So go farm yourself a torrent if you have director's cut. You will not regret it. Anyway, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.